Hey guys, Arthur here, coming to you with another video on what's going on in the world of Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go players mock unbelievable reviews, claiming raids got them robbed and evicted. Uh, Pokemon Go players are baffled by one-star review accusing developer Niantic of not being able to pay for rent and other necessities because of getting, of getting robbed while walking to a raid location. Like I said in other videos, guys, seems like... It's not safe to raid in person. And uh, they should be given bad reviews for this cuz people are getting robbed and and that's not good. On April 21st, a user of the Pokemon Go Reddit made a post simply titled "Which one of you with a screenshot of a Pokemon Go review that features quite a, an unbelievable story?" The mentioned story is tied to Niantic's decision to nerf remote raid finalized on March 30th. It saw the price of remote raid passes doubled and limited their use to five days, five a day. A decision that made a significant portion of the player base upset and some of them even quit the game. I saw some of that. Some, some players quit the game and like they left. I did a, uh, an article on it. With the same uh, same website, Mass Exodus is like a three two three days ago. Yeah, uh, we are upset about this, and, and I told you that this is a consequence, especially in big cities where there's a lot of crime. Forget about Chicago. Forget about L.A. Those places are not raid friendly. Should not go outside to raid in those areas, especially the big city areas. But Niantic doesn't care. The review mentioned that the remote raid nerf forced them to walk to a raid in person, resulting in them being robbed, which is in turn resulted in them not being able to pay for water and electricity. The review ends with the author stating they might get evicted next week, all because of Pokemon. Yeah, Niantic. Yeah. Because of you wanting your stupid location data to collect your data to sell it off. That You're not even going to use it. You're going to sell it off. You're going to sell it off to the government. You're going to sell it off to the corporations. You're going to sell it off so you can make your money there. You don't care about the little guy. He never did. And now I'm thinking like, they have never and will never consider making changes and also never cared about us. Pokemon Go players baffled by an outlandish one-star review. Denizens of the subreddit quickly started piling on comments mocking the story as an entertaining fairy tale. As soon as the robbery were out of sight, I wrote the review on the the phone so once the robber was out of sight i wrote this review on the phone i was playing on but they managed not to steal but they managed not to steal it mockingly writes a one user another player bluntly states one th on things that never happened today this is a story right here this is right here let me read it uh, i was able to uh, use remote raid passes and just play at home when a gym Starts, but since the price have been raised, I'm not able to afford them. So one day, I was walking to a raid because I couldn't afford a remote raid pass. Was robbed on the streets, and they took my wallet that had all my important stuff in there. So now I'm living in a house with no electricity or water, and might get evicted. Next week, all because of Pokemon. Others are going to say, hey, you should never play Pokemon. You should have quit. When you love the game so much that you're not going to quit, even whatever changes they make, which is you don't agree with, you're still going to play. Some users point out that real robberies and muggins have happened because of Pokemon Go. That's why it's not safe, dude. It's not safe to play outside, dude. If they'll... If we lived in a utopian society where nobody stole and nobody 
robbed anybody. Nobody raped anybody. Nobody did anything, assaulted anybody. Nobody did nothing to anybody. There was no crime. Then this in-game play would work. There's, there's of course, going to be other players that are not going to be like, oh, you know what? I don't want to go outside and play a game. I want to go outside and hang hang out, hang out with my friends, hang out with my, my girlfriend, my wife, my kids, my uh, my significant other, my husband, my kids, whatever. That's what they want to go outside for. They're not going to go outside. That's a good good game to play with the family. Maybe there's like a like a percentage of the, the Pokemon play Pokemon Go players that go outside with their family and friends. Say, hey, let's go. 20 of us, take down some dims. Let's go, let's go. Let's tell, go take some some gym. Let's do some raids. Let's go. Let's go as a family, as a family outing. I know people are sitting on this, but you can't deny there has been real robberies in Pokemon Go reported on the news. This is an, an impossible situation, even if this one comic was lying state one user, even if it was lying. There's robberies going on with campfire, tricking people like, hey, let's, let's meet up. Let's meet up. And then people got robbed when they use that stupid app campfire. Another user clapped back at the Pacific comment, pointing out that neither the game nor the company is responsible at the end, as each player should keep their wits about them and exercise caution. The thing is, this will have never happened. I was able. They, they, I don't. The thing is, the pricing, the pricing is messed up. I don't know why they did it. If you're going to limit players, why would you increase the pricing? That is stupid. That is so fucking stupid in the antics part. And that is the stupidest thing I ever seen. The stupidest thing I ever saw. Why would you increase the pricing on something that you're going to limit players on using? That is so fucking stupid. That is the stupidest fucking thing I have ever seen and heard. Why would you fucking do that? Why would you fucking increase the price when you're going to limit players from using that same that product? Why are you going to do that? Why? That is stupid. If he had a chance to buy a remote raid, he would have had no chance of going outside and going into the in-person, which they want you to do. They want you to go in-person. That's why they did it. They want you to go in person. They want you to collect that data. They want to collect your data to sell it off to any country that they want to sell it off. They wanted to do it to any country that they want to sell it off. That's what they are. That was the purpose is to sell it off, to sell off that data. And they're not keeping it for themselves. They're keeping it to sell. They're selling that data. They're selling it. Just like TikTok, just like uh just like Facebook, just like Twitter, everybody does it. Every company does it. Every social media company does it. Every company that owns an app does it. They like to sell off your data. They're selling it off. They're selling it off. That's what. That's how they make their money. That's what they care more about is selling off your data to somebody in a foreign country or somebody in the country that you live in, to a corporation, to the government, anyone. They're selling off that data. That is more important then it's your safety. That is more important. And that's why they hiked up the prices so that you won't buy the remote rates. That was the reason. People that are that are middle income or poor won't be able to buy those passes. Won't be able to buy them. That's why they did it. That's why they did it. That's why they increased the prices on those passes. Because it makes no sense whatsoever ever whatsoever to increase the prices where you're going to limit people on using them you're going to limit people on using remote raids makes no sense whatsoever unless you're trying not to make them buy the pass and make remote raids dead by doing that making it useless making it pointless players that are still playing 
Don't buy remote rate passes. Keep on buying them. Keep on buying the remote rate passes. Show them up. Shut them up. It's gotten so dangerous that somebody got robbed. Now they can't afford to pay their electricity, their water, and now they're going to be evicted from their place that they live in because they got robbed because Niantic cares more about your data and selling off that data to any country, to any place, to any corporation. That's what they care about. They're not, I don't know why, they don't make ads unless they're going to start implementing ads into the game. Are they going to start implementing ads into the game, Niantic? Are you going to start imp- implementing ads in your game? Is that why you're selling your data? That's what they're going to do. You're going to do that. You're going to sell it off. Don't say no, Niantic. That's what you do. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to sell it off. That's why you care more about that data. That's why you care. That's why you care. Somebody sitting in their home is not giving them enough data. It's not giving them the right data that they need. They need you to get your butt off. No matter how dangerous it is, they say, oh, well, we care about you because we sell you. Watch your watch where your surroundings are. Watch. Be cautious. Be exercise caution. Exercise caution. Don't go by yourself. Don't go alone. They did all the right things. Say, oh, look, we did all the right things. We warned you. It's not our fault. It's your fault that you got robbed. It's your fault. You should have been cautious. You should have been cautious. Ridiculous, and there's over here people apologizing for the antics, stupid shit. There's they, these are in no way caused by Pokemon Go, regardless of the co- co- coincidences that the people robbed their rob were playing it. Yes, even the folks lured to the robberies were only coincidentally, coincidentally, and unrelatedly robbed while playing Pokemon Go. Argues the reply. As mentioned before, some crimes happen because of Pokemon Go and the lack of caution of the player. Supposedly, campfire raid flares were used to rob players earlier this year, although it was never verified or confirmed by a credible source. They're blaming the victims right here. This is blaming the victims. No matter no matter what type of caution. You take for yourself. First of all, you're supposed to have... There's supposed to be way more people in those raids. And I'm surprised that he had to walk his butt down. And then I guess there was a, they were the only ones there. Or somebody was there raiding with them. And then boom, they got stolen. I don't know what the other circumstances are. But... Like I said, this wouldn't have happened... I don't care if they limited players to five. If they didn't increase the remote raids, people were would be able to buy them. There's a reason. That's the reason why. If you didn't hear my rant, there is a reason why they increase the prices. Is so that you can't afford them. Normal players, people that play you play for free, or people that pay not a lot of money. People pay maybe $5 to get some coins, waste their coins on a couple of raid, uh, raids maybe or maybe boost their uh, package or storage or Pokemon storage. This pricing increase, what it did, what made it harder for people that play uh, free to play and people that pay not a lot of money into the game this, that's who affected them. Remote raids affected rural players, disabled players, and people that played for free or paid a little bit of, mother, of the money that they can spend on. That's who this affected the most. And Niantic's going to get what they deserve. They're going to get what they deserve. They're going to get a dying player base, a dying consumer base, a dying base. 
And I will be cheering them on until they figure out that they made a mistake. They will lose a lot of trust in the community. In the community. If they don't fix this in a week or two. If they don't fix this in a week or two. Their game is dead. Fuck Monster Hunter now. Fuck Monster Hunter now. Ain't nobody going to play that. Ain't nobody going to play it. Who, who could trust? Who can trust Niantic? Who can trust Niantic with what they hit, what they did with Pokemon Go? Who can trust Niantic? I can't believe Capcom trusts Niantic. I can't believe that. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Make sure to smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Let me know how what you think about this in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.